<laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to another video concerning uh, Sud 25 Frog Kit Review by Trompeta in 1 to 30 second scale. Yes. You uh, may be lucky enough to see another two uh, model projects uh, uh, to the left of me uh, running uh, simultaneously. They have been uh, T-34 and T-55. Well, uh, one of the projects uh, I'm dealing at the moment, before we proceed to Su-25 uh, model kit review, I want to tell you about my one of the projects I'm running with. It's a T-55. Yeah. T-55. Canon turret is principally assembled, as well as hull, as well as the hull. By the way, it's a trompeta, trompeta one of its initial productions. To be more spe specific, uh, uh, the final result I intend would be not T-55 in its initial production modification, but uh, somehow uh, I, if I may hope, uh, it would be something just like T55 AD or something similar modification. The difference is, is uh, in uh, arrangement of infrared lights, infrared lights, uh, anti-aircraft guns. Somehow it turns out that the kit uh, contains two of these spare tracks, shunts of instrument. Hammer and a spade, as we call it in Russian, or chance of instrument. It's pretty nice to have uh, such kit assembled. Uh, the only procedure it requires now is just to have painted. Yeah, have painted. Okay, let's proceed to our kit review. Here it comes. The largest box in my collection of model kits unassembled, by the way. The largest one, yeah. So, the largest box, okay. The box span is 58 centimeters length, 36 centimeters high, and, and uh, approximately 12 centimeters high. Oh. Not so little box though. Its weight is about mm, maybe two or three kilograms. I have no scale on me at the moment. Okay, let's open the box. Fine box art depicting a pair of frog foots out maneuvering after ground attacks. For, for we can see a ground explosion at the back. Okay, put it out. So the box, as you can see, is heavily packed with uh, just don't know how many sprues it consists uh, of, but tremendously big quantity of sprues. So uh, each sprue is packed in its turn with a separate plastic bags to prevent uh, from spare parts uh, inadvertently separated from the sprues uh, from being lost. Yeah, and that's two kind of trompeta, yeah. So, uh, at the end of our movie, you will see this spruce being, uh, this spruce having been shot at the phone, which uh, makes you easy to look at thoroughly. But at the moment, let's have a short review of this kit. Okay, this sprue, we have uh, halves of uh, external fuel tanks, uh, unguided bombs, fab, 50 or FAB 100, uh, ejection racks, which, uh, which they can be attached to uh, the assembled model. What else? Oh, here comes uh, wind parts, uh, upper and lower, with wind tips sponsons, in which uh, radar warning receiver antennas, uh, landing lights and air brakes are located. Uh, what else? Missile racks, missile guides, 
There are plenty of them for uh, I don't know how many types of guided and unguided weapons are represented at this kit, but anyway. So, engine. Uh, I, uh, I must admit that en engine at this craft might be showed off as well as it might be hidden. But if you intend to show it off, both of the engines with open hatches and service doors, so, I must admit, the engine is molded in a perfect manner, in absolute perfect manner. Even buffalo rings are available, exhausts, stages, okay, one engine and the second, one engine and the second, yeah. Additional components for engine also can be seen as air extinguisher, tanks, and something like that, something stuff like that. Put it away. Okay, what else? Uh, mm -hmm. Tubes for laser-guided missiles. I tend laser-guided missiles, as well as racks for them. Uh, what comes here? Oh. It's an exhaust nozzles for engine. One is uh, inadvertently uh, detached from the sprue. Exhaust nozzle. Brakes for landing gear. Covering for nose gear which can be done as retracted or both at extended position exactly for example while at the initial approach or at the landing okay so as i have said uh, the plastic bags are provided to prevent from such little details from being lost and uh, it's pretty convenient I, I must admit it's pretty convenient yeah put it Oh, approximately 10 or 12 sprues uh, are dedicated for armament, uh, being both uh, guided and unguided, as rockets and missiles. Here we have S24 missiles H25 uh, or UB32 rockets H29L. Part 29T. Oh my god, I don't know if I can handle with this. Here comes another pair of screws with uh, armament UPK, UPK, I beg your pardon, UPK 23, 223, universal port with two barrel guns by 23 millimeters. It's uh, unguided bombs as well as Unguided bombs as uh, FAB 100 as well as guided ones CAP 500, KMGU. What do we have in here? It's a racks for weapons, as you can see, just racks for weapons, nothing more can be said about it. Racks as they be. Ah, well, nicely detailed pilot seat. Uh, I'm not a fan of aftermarket being supplied to any models. Uh, I admit the current uh, art of model building company is sufficient enough to assemble a nicely detailed model with no uh, aftermarkets with no aftermarkets pilot seat pilot seat cover uh, seat belts are being provided uh, additionally as for the aged parts by the way pilot seat has emergency provision provided uh, pilot control stick pedals and armor flaps for wings and uh, wings sliding Ages. Guided missiles R-77 and other types of missiles. Uh, Rex and guided missiles Vickery by Vickery Complex. Hatches for engine. Hatches for compartments. Nose landed gear head. Simulation for internal electrical mounts and hydraulic lines provided within the aircraft. Oh, spool with the clear part consists of parts. One of the sprues with clear part consists of two parts. They being the forward, forward part, and the, and the final glass shield. The upper part of the pilot glass shield uh, periscope must be installed while assembled. Okay. Another two sprues for R60 and R76. Big uh, button R77 missiles. Here comes another sprue with the clear parts, uh, contain, uh, which contains radons for guided missile, landing gear, lights, oh. um, panels for radio stacks at the nose part of the aircraft. Yeah, 
nicely mode the details. Automatic direction fighter antenna, hatch, air inlet to provide cool for equipment and so on. Oh, here comes metallic struts for landing gears. I have never had experience of assembling uh, models in such uh, tremendous scale. 1 to 32. Uh, I just might uh, assume at the moment of talking to you that uh, they've been provided just to sustain its heavy weight. For I must assume that the model would be pretty, pretty hard to take in the hand. Here comes another screw with uh, engine, engine details as well as additional racks for weapons. Uh, assuming that uh, Su-25 is equipped with uh, approximately 12 external stores, so it's no wonder that we have a such tremendous range of amounts contained within the kit. What comes next? Radio stack base, avionics units, imitating contained uh, fins with movable rudder, ailerons, st stabilizers with uh, movable with movable parts. Okay, I just have uh, no place to locate like, screws. Finally, we comes to um, to an end. So two separate box contains uh, halves of the fuselage. They are really attractive and exceptionally big. So just imagine what kind of sizes it would be when assembled. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, my hands tremors. Um, oh. <laughs> the Su-25 model kit uh, I have ever kept in my hand was uh, Su-25 by Zvezda in 1 to 70 second scale, so just assume it's being in a size like that, but uh, that is approximately two and a half size larger than previous one. Uh, it's nicely, looks like a herring. To me, uh, I want to tell the truth that Su-25 to me is not exceptional, it's not a plane that uh, I'm keen on, literally. Uh, it's just a plane, it's just a kit to assemble, to build on, not to mess with, nothing to uh, put out the saliva, nothing to going crazy, just a kit. Though in a 1 to second 2 scale. Okay, put it aside. Oh, here comes the box for, half, for fuselage halves. Uh, what do we have in here? 25 rocket, uh, item number 02276. Okay, let's open the box. Guess what? Ha! <laughs> Guess what? Mm -hmm. It's a uh, engine compartments. Engine compartments. Engine hulls, which are closely attached to the to the port and sub fuselage parts. So I can assume that engine must be put within this car, uh, this hull. So let's land in gear. Hatches can open. Well, okay. another package with a, another half of the engine bay. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. approximately four. Screws with the clear parts, titanium uh, radiums for TV seekers or heat seekers for guided missiles. This one, this one, and this one. Clear parts imitating head up display, main instrument panel, something like that. Something, something like that. Parts for UB 32 uh, uh, m m rocket spots, as well as this one. Or and the thing that I adore this kit is resin molded tires. Ah, nice to touch, yeah. Though in a plastic bag. And uh, seat belts for crew, uh, for the aged parts. Only four separate lines and one line assembled. This model kit was issued in 2010 by Tron Beta. So, what we have also unreviewed, yeah. It's exceptionally, exceptionally big agent's kit. Yeah. For those who are keen on 25, that would be a real Klondike. Try not to lose your head off. Probably you will be assembling this kit like a burning mid midnight oil, but I'm not literally keen on this craft, so I, I'm just making my review on it and nothing more to say.
uh, a different painting scheme for Soviet Air Force. A red tent, so called, acted in Afghanistan. Czech Air Force, Su 25 key no modification. Kind of strange to me, like a real frog painting scheme for this plane. And traditional motors is uh, white also for Soviet Air Forces. Now, oh, painting scheme uh, for guided and guided weapons with markings and is also provided one-sided instruction which can be easily understood and nicely to touch well, a lot of weapons a lot of weapons are repre represented within the box it's a cup guided air bomb in russian cupid sotka air tv guided missile h 29 t laser guided missile h 29 l h 15 8 ready guided missile S24B FAP 250 FAP 102 Aviazonne catapultno stroistro or shortly in Russian AKU in English uh, aircraft ejector U aircraft launcher aircraft launcher MBD2 Monoga Zamkovi Balashne Gerjatil Multiple Bomb Rack Multiple Bomb Rack Unguided missile S25 or this but a lot more than all, it's a exceptional technical markings for weapons, markings for cockpit panel instruments. Or <laughs> just look at this nasty frog trying to patch a tank with technical insignia for airplane itself. And exceptional beautiful markings. Depicting Air Force designation. Beautiful insignia, nicely printed. Yeah. I love them. I love the way they look. So, and finally, we have an instruction. At the top page of it depicts side view of Su 25 while uh, in the land and armament scheme. It's a time consuming. Action you might assume just to assemble this kit, so keep your money ready on to buy necessary paints. As for me, I decided just to avoid buying any aftermarket for this craft. I, I think this kit has a, an exceptional amount of any units which you might even want to have installed, so no need to buy any aftermarket. I think. Well, what do we have at the end? At the end, we have the Su 25 frog foot. In one to second, one to second to scale, reviewed. Well, if you like the video, I want you to rate it. Uh, please write your comments what you did like or what you did not. Well, just it'll be highly appreciable. Okay, bye bye.